What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sneaker Hen, and today I'm gonna show you guys my sneaker collection. So I'm gonna start this little thing called Sneaker Collection Saturdays, when every Saturday I'm going to drop a sneaker collection. I'll probably film my friends' collections, and hopefully I can get some celebrities that want me to film their collection and show it on YouTube. And if you guys know anybody you want me to go film their collection, comment that down below. But since I'm the host, I gotta show my collection first, so let's get into it. Oh, but before we start with the shoes, I guess I should do like a fit check. I got the LA Dodgers Eric Emanuel hoodie. I think it says Dodgers on the back, I'm not sure. Who's? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And then obviously I got the pants to go with it. It says Los Angeles. And then I don't know if you guys have ever been to Sky Zone. I got my orange Sky Zone socks. I live in Maryland and it gets cold, so. The first two shoes, they're just Ugg boots. The first one is like a utility boot. This one's more like to keep your feet warm. These are just dress shoes. I honestly don't know if it fits, but this is the only pair of designer shoes I own. There are some Pradas. Um, I'm not really a big fan of designer, but this is one of the shoes that I actually like. Yeah, I used to wear these a lot back in high school. Um, I own three pairs of Reeboks. This is the Reebok ventilators, I think. I seen Kendrick Lamar do a um, commercial about these and then I just immediately bought it. Very lightweight shoe, very comfortable, it's good for working out or if you have a job where you need to stand, that's a good shoe. I got a pair of the Reeboks, these are the Reebok questions. Um, my favorite shoe of all time is the Concord 11 so I do like to get shoes that are the Concord colors. I got these Dunk Highs, um, honestly I haven't worn these shoes in years. so. It's about time I probably should sell it. I need to clean them up a little bit first, but this is one of the premium dunk highs. This this swoosh right here, I think they call it ostrich. So yeah, this this dunk high has um, premium um, materials on it. So that's that's why I purchased it. I liked it. And then this right here is an Air Force One. Now, when I bought this shoe, it was in pristine condition. Like this part was clear. So if you guys know how I can like fix this, please comment that down below. Um, this shoe still has a lot of life as you can see all the stars are still there so I definitely want to wear it again I just need to unfog this this toe box area will it go with this? nah it's a different blue right. back in high school I was buying random shoes and this is one of them just an Air Force One that got like a iridescent iridescent swoosh yeah there we go it's like green on the bottom I don't really wear it um, but just a shoe that I have you know, Air Max 1's are big here, but it's, I just got an all black one, just I can wear it to work when I had when I used to work regular jobs or instead of wearing all black Air Forces, that was that's my all black Air Force. Um these are just Air Maxes, nothing special, nothing special. These are just Reeboks. Um, I mean <laughs> I used to wear these a lot back in college because it was comfortable and Walking around campus, I wasn't trying to like mess up my like my, my really good shoes. So the second row right here is pretty much where I keep my dunks. I organized it. Uh, these are the golden rods. I got the UNLVs. These ones right here. Um, these ones is a little special to me. I bought these from Bo. Shout out to my guy Bo. Um, I've always wanted this shoe. It's very expensive, and I still haven't worn them yet. So I think I might have to sell it yet, but I, I love this shoe. The, what's some them dunks called? I think the, the Woman Olive Dunks. They're like a cheaper alternative, so I might just get that in, instead of having these. And then, obviously being from Baltimore, I love purple, so I got the Core Purple Dunks. Um, and then, <laughs> so I got these. These are the Kentucky Dunks. Now obviously they just restocked, but I got these at the Dallas Sneaker Convention when these were going for like 700 brand new. So I paid 450 for these. They was worn once. Um, I really like this shoe. It's one of my favorite dunks of all time. But man, just imagine if I waited. You know, I could have paid like less than three. But that's a part of the sneaker game, you know. You never know when stuff's going to restock. So these are my pandas. Now, they're cooked. I mean, they're really, really cooked. Like I... I wore these so uh it's time for a new pair these shoes right here um shout out to statement 
Um, Cam did a video at Statement, and he bought like everyone on the team at the time a pair of dunks. So I actually got these for free. And then I got an airplane on it because uh, he actually sent like the whole team like these emblems. He makes shoe emblems. He, got, he gave us like 23 and all different types of things. So I put the airplane on it because uh, I don't know, some reason every time I have a flight to catch, I tend to wear these. So yeah, but they're beat. And they're only beat because I got it for free. When I get shoes for free, I, I really wear them. Now this is one of the only two SBs I have. I got the Chicago J-Packs. Um, it's, it's a beautiful shoe. Like I don't really know what to say about it other than the shoe speaks for itself. And then these right here, these are the Starfish Lows. I just love orange, so. And I pretty much have almost every Shattered Backboard shoe, so it was only right to get this one. I wear these a lot, like a lot. And then these shoes are the actual Shattered Backboard Lows. Um, I recently got these, um, as you can see where I got it from and what I paid. So, but I think because I'm selling my collection, I might as well sell these as well. Now I only have one pair of mids and I, I'm actually a big supporter of mids. Like I don't have a problem with mids. I will wear mids. I just will wear mids that I think are good colors. So my only mid, man, these are cooked, are the, uh, the new loves. I got these from DTLR. I just walked in a random day. They were sitting like you could, like I, I wore these. So I wore these a lot. I, I used to just, when I went to New York, I would just wear these in New York and just stomp around the city. I don't want Hyper Roll Smoke Grays, and I actually got these as well. I got the Turbo Greens. So guys, which, what would you prefer? See, me personally, I like the Turbo Greens more because it's like, it's harder to wear. So if you really have drip, like you can put this together. This one, you could, this is easy to match, but Shout out to Cam, he gave me these on my birthday. Um, so this shoe means a lot to me, cause you know, when you're a sneakerhead and you get shoes for free, like, you know, sneakerheads love free shoes. This actually shoe right here is my newest pickup. I have yet to wear it, uh, but it's the Jordan 1 Black Toes. I owned this shoe before and I sold it at SneakerCon New York a few years ago. And I regretted it immediately after I did it. Um, so I got it back. Got these from 9 out of 10, Condition in Baltimore. Um, so shout out to them. But I I love this shoe. I prefer this shoe over the bread toes. I prefer this shoe over the breads. Um, the only shoe I prefer over this is Chicago Ones, but I love the black toes. Oh, so we got more ones. Um, the top is just a shot of backboard 3.0. Um, but these right here, these are the shattered backboards. The creme of the, what's it, creme de la creme? I don't even know the saying, but these are not the taxis. The yellow toes, whatever y'all call them. These are this, probably the most, like the best quality Jordan 1 they've ever made. Um, that I, at least that I own. I don't know if they made Jordan 1s that have better quality than this, but I don't, I don't own those. But this is probably, I think this is my favorite shoe in my collection. I guess I'll show these. I'm kind of short, so it's kind of like, all right. I ain't gonna lie, when, <laughs> when I gotta get the top shoes, I just pull this. All right, so these are the Shattered Backboard 3.0s. When these shoes came out, I really wasn't a big fan of them, but after seeing them in person, I was like, all right, let me buy it. And then every time I wear it, like the girls compliment me. Like girls love this shoe, so. Guys, if you own sneaker stores and you want females to come through, make sure you have these shoes in stock because they will, they will buy these. Now this shoe right here, I love. It's the bubblegum ones. It got the little bubblegum on the bottom. They're called Atmospheres. Haven't worn it yet, but I do love this shoe. It's a woman's shoe, but I wear a size 10, 10 and a half, so. I can always get women's shoes because they stop at 10 and a half in men most of the time. Now we'll get into my two pairs of Jordan 2s. It's pretty ironic I have two pairs of Jordan 2s. So the first one is the Just Dawns. Um, I remember when these shoes were hitting for $1,000. This was a lot of people's grails a couple years ago, but you know, hype changes over time. 
Um, but I love this shoe. I got these from 9 out of 10 condition as well. Shout out to Birdo. Um, bought these pre-owned and I've, I've wore these a lot. And then these twos right here are the Jordan 2 Low Chicago's. Um, I never knew this shoe existed um, until they made the Off-White 2 Lows and I was doing research. I wanted the Off-White 2 Lows, but those are really expensive. So I saw these and I was like, these are beautiful. It's a cheaper alternative. These are very cheap. I actually got this shoe for free. Um, I did a big buyout and then when I broke the numbers down, it was like, I could afford to not, basically just not pay for this because of what I paid for the other stuff. So it's my only two pairs of twos. <laughs> Now I got three pairs of Jordan 3s. Jordan 3 Patchworks, a lot of people dislike this shoe. I like it. It's different, it's giving like army vibes. Um, got this orange right here. Like I said, I love orange. And um, yeah, this is my first Jordan 3. This is the true blue 3 that I, I respect. I don't like the one that they put that red thing on the tongue. But as you can see, like it's, it's, it's chipping, it's yellowing on this back tab. The inside is chipping a lot, um, but I still wear it. I wore this to SneakerCon on DC this year with my Wizards jersey, so it's still holding up. I'll probably wear these shoes up until they crumble on me. But actually, shout out to Foam City. Um, I got these from Foam City. I think I got this from the Towson location. I, mean, I don't know who helped me, if it was Tyree. It was probably Tyree or Dylan. But shout out to Foam City, I got these from them. Um, and then I got a pair of the, well, I'm gonna I'm a let you guys comment down below what these are. I'm gonna just say they're not the Fire Red 3s, but if you know what these are, let me know. When the Fire Red 3s came out, these dropped in value, which sucked, but it's all good. Now, let's get into my Jordan 4s. How many I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't have four, four 4s. All right, so my first pair of Jordan 4s are the Bread 4s. Um, this is the most recent pair with the Nike Air on the back. I actually have the pair that came out right before it, but as y'all can see, oops, as y'all can see, these are cooked. So it just made sense why I had to grab these. Um, you got the Nike Air and the Jumpman. Uh, also, I tried to repaint this and it just looks terrible. Um, as you can see, like, so yeah. If I need a hoop outside, I'll definitely throw these on. There's no traction left. If I want to hoop in some J's, I'll throw these on. And then next up, I'm pretty sure this this is one of the first two Jordans I ever bought. Um, I can't remember if it was the New Buck 12s or these, but back in high school, I think I was in 11th grade, I joined a Facebook group and this guy was selling these for 155 bucks. And um, no, it was 150, but he charged me five dollars to drop it off to me. So I paid 155 for these. Um, starting to crack a little bit. It's not too bad, but it's still very wearable. I did crease the front, but I love this shoe, black and yellow. Um, I think my high school colors. Was, they said it was black and gold, but to me it looks like black and yellow. So I do get a lot of black and yellow stuff. The fire red fours. Can't go wrong with these. Um, just a simple, clean shoe. Everyone loves this. I know people love these more than Fire Red 3s, but Fire Red 4s. Now I got a pair of sho um, shoes that just came out. Haven't worn them yet, still desk stock, but you guys know what these are, the Jordan 4 Midnight Navies. And the reason I got these is because they're so similar to these. These are the white cement fours. So they're really similar, honestly, guys. It's just, this has navy in it. This has black. Um, as you can see, the back has uh, Jumpman Nike Air. But this shoe is really expensive right now, brand new. And this one's only like 280 to three. So if you want this, I suggest buying these right now. They're gonna go up, but 300 for Jordan 4, it's not bad. At one point, I owned three pairs of these. I'm down to my last two. Um, you probably can see why. So this pair right here is uh, honestly destroyed. <laughs> like, it's so cooked. You see all that. Let me show you all the heels. There's no stars left on it. 
So because this shoe was this destroyed, I bought this one. And then since I had three pairs, I was like, I don't need three. I, I just sold that last one. Um, when I worked for Amazon, I wore these. And I in the day I wore these, I would like, when I'm delivering packages, I would shoot them like it's a basketball. And I don't know. When I wore Jordans to work, I was just more... I was just more enthusiastic about the day. I don't own any Jordan 5s, um, but I do want, there's a few 5s that I do want. And then this is the only pair of 6s I have, the electric slide 6s. Some people hate it, some people love it. I just think it's a very clean shoe. Very simple shoe as well. Um, and then I don't have any 7s or 8s, so we gotta go to Jordan 9s. I got one pair, it's the playoffs. Some people call it the OGs, the OG nines. Very clean shoe, very, very clean, very beautiful shoe. I have two pairs of 11s. Um, I got the Jordan 11 breads. These are not the 2019s, these are the 2012s that have that red, um, what's the thing called? Like the red insert in the box. Box is right there, I don't feel like opening it, but I like the breads. Uh, I like the Jordan 11 with the lower, lower patent bread cut. Uh, let me show you my Concords, because they made these cut higher. This is the most recent one. So as you can see, like, the cut is way lower on the breads. So I prefer the lower cut um, Jordan 11s, but this shoe right here, this is actually my favorite shoe of all time, the Jordan 11 Concord. Not this release. Um, I believe this is the 20, it's either 2016 or 2018, can't remember. But just the shoe itself is my favorite shoe of all time. Very clean. You can wear this shoe with a, with a suit. You can wear this shoe casually. You can wear this shoe to play basketball. You can wear this shoe for any type of occasion. So it's just, I don't know, it's very simple, but it is my favorite shoe of all time. So Jordan 11 Concord. I have one pair of 12s. I had two, but I sold one. Um, these are the Cherry Cherry 12s. It's a very beautiful shoe. Got these from 9 out of 10 condition. I think this is back when Berto had a store in Towson. Um, and it's actually falling apart. Well, it's not falling apart, but if you look right here, it's starting to separate. So, can y'all retro these, please? Because, you know, I'll definitely get it again when y'all retro it. I just don't want this to fall apart on me when I'm wearing it out and about. And then that completes my Jordan collection. Um, and then we go into my Kobe's. This is probably the greatest Kobe of all time, in my opinion. Now this is the Kobe 6 Grinch. This is the most recent pair that they released. Um, I had two pairs of it. And then I got rid of one because I needed some cash at the time. So this is the pair I wear. Didn't hit for retail, I paid retail for that one. Um, but I got these for retail. Got these from Towson Mall. I remember Towson Mall, these were sitting, so I was actually buying these up and selling them on StockX, but I did keep a pair. And yeah, I sold Kobe's. I used to resell Kobe's before he passed away, so I'm not one of these scumbags who was looking to buy him up and profit off his death. And then as soon as he died, I pretty much only focused on Jordans and other shoes. I haven't worn these yet. I think the next time I go to LA, I'll take these with me and wear it. But this is a beautiful shoe. Shout out to Kobe Bryant. One of the people I look up to, unfortunately he passed away, but he still left the impact on the world. And then these are my, the Kobe's that I had got. I think I had like, someone had sold me like a Kobe collection. And this is one that I just kept because I wanted to actually use it to play basketball in. Um, I haven't used it yet, but yeah, I, I just like how it looks. There's a lot going on with the colors, but I think I think I want to hoop in these. And then this, this Kobe right here, like, I honestly, this was like a random purchase. So I think I was at Towson Mall. They had these in a the Foot Locker and I picked them up and I saw this X. And um, I think at the time, K Camp and 2 Chains dropped that song, Cut Her Off. And it's like, cancel out my X, I put a line through that. And I just, I just bought it because they had the X in it, and, that, and I just love that lyric. So this is a Kobe. Um, honestly, you can't really tell it's a Kobe by just looking at it. But when you come right here, you'll see it. he signed it, and it has his um, Black Mamba symbol. So 
Definitely don't want to wear it because of this, but we'll see. This next shoe right here is a uh, miscellaneous shoe. So it's the Jordan One Low Golfs, Chicago's. So shout out to Top Golf. Um, I live in PG County, so I can go to the one in National Harbor. But they just made one in Baltimore, and I'm always in Baltimore. So definitely gonna break these out at Top Golf, guys. Are these valid? If you can't like afford Chicago's. Are these just valid to wear just casually? I don't know, let me know. These are pretty much my, my Yeezy section. These are just black slides. Okay, it's not coming out. Those are just black slides. These are pure slides. I got two foam runners. This is the mineral blue. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera. They're not the black onyx ones, but this is mineral blue. And then I got the, the ochres. Um, but I do, I think I want the sands and that's pretty much it for foam runners. So yeah, those are my two form runners. And then this probably top five Adidas Yeezy of all time, the Wave Runners. I wear these a lot. Um, very comfortable shoe, very good looking shoe. And I'm one of those guys when they, before the shoe came out and they just showed pictures of it, I hated it. Thought it was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But these are one of them things when you see in person and you put them on, yeah. I don't even know if you guys remember these, but these are the Adidas SL Loops, Red Reptiles. Um, these used to resell for crazy, um, but Adidas restocked them like four times. So yeah, back in college, I used to wear these around campus and very comfortable, lightweight shoe. I need to start wearing it more, but yeah. And then guys, my only pair of Ultra Boosts, I got the black ones. Um, I used to wear these when I worked in Amazon warehouse and I actually spilled like hot sauce on this one. That's why I kind of stopped wearing it, but Ultra Boost are very comfortable. Um, they was like almost 200 retail, so that's why like a lot of people stayed away from it. But they used to resell. So I think this is the only pair of Pumas I have. Um, I'm into like the weird stuff sometimes. So this is the Puma UEG collab. I got the strap. It's like a space shoe. Um, I think one of them says something about liftoff. So if you look down here is just like details this side up and this one is talking about gravity resistant yeah i just i just like this shoe because of the details um and then this next shoe right here the nike diamond turfs this is one of my top five favorite shoes of all time it is the 49ers colorway um i just love this shoe um, i think the newer sneakerheads probably don't know what this is this is a shoe like the OGs love. So I'm from the DMV, um, foam posits are big here. So I got two pairs. I got the uh, pewters. These are destroyed. I pretty much like wearing foam posits when it's like snowing outside or when it's raining because it's just like a heavy duty utility shoe that just stays together. So I like to wear these in bad weather. And then I actually forgot I had these. So these are definitely for sale. I think these are the gym. Jim Green foam posit pros. Got the green check right here. But yeah, these are for, definitely for sale because I I don't I don't even remember the last time I wore these. So this last row pretty much put my heat, you know, best for last. So let's start with this. The off-white Air Force Ones, these are the Boston. I love I love the yellow. I like the green ones as well. The blue ones, uh, I don't really like the blue ones. So I do want the yellow and the green. And um, I do wear my shoes. So the only other heat I really have, the Travis Scott SBs. Um, paid a lot of money for these. Bought these while I was working at Cam's Kicks. I don't think I'll ever like rip off the like tear off the, the material there's some material underneath i don't like how it looks with that so Dwayne wade is my favorite basketball player of all time so i got the way of weight twos these are called diablos honestly it's like a what this shoe it's a lot going on um you see the three he wore number three and yeah i just love the details there's a lot going on this shoe actually came with a bag so i'll show you this is the bag it came with so if i'm ever traveling i can just throw the shoes in this bag and that's one thing I like about um, certain shoe companies and brands. 
like they'll you know throw extra stuff in when you purchase things you know these days you just get the shoe in the box but i love shoes that come with things and then these are my deodoras these were signed by kais omar um as you can see on the back it says um dream crew but kais signed right there and he signed both pairs actually so i bought these i think on Foot Locker, and yeah he came to god soul i seen him saying he was coming to god soul so i was like let me bring these with me and then see if he'll sign it so he signed it i really fuck with kais he did a lot for like the uh sneaker community some people love him some people hate him but like he did a lot for the sneaker community this shoe right here <laughs> Um, if you guys know Victor Cruz, he was a wide receiver for the New York Giants. Um, I think it says right here. Yeah, Victor Cruz. So this is basically um, Victor Cruz's shoe. This is his Just On. Dance to greatness. Because you know when um, Victor Cruz got a touchdown, he would do like the cha-cha. So I'm not doing it, but y'all 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 get what I'm saying. So I have three pairs of KDs. I got the what the KDs. This one got a lot going on, as you can see. It's just two completely different shoes. Very lightweight. Um, I do love this shoe because it's lightweight. When I used to deliver for Amazon, I wore it to work a few times. And then I got the KD sixes. I believe these are all star. These glow in the dark. Um, very lightweight. I like to take this with me when I when I I'm going on vacation because if I think I'm gonna play basketball, this is the shoe I like to play basketball with. Very lightweight. They don't take up much weight in your luggage, so that's why I take those. And then this is my KD4 Galaxies. Very beautiful shoe. I believe I got th I got these from Nine Out of Ten Condition as well. Um, but yeah, this is one of KD's greatest shoes. So. This next shoe is, is, is so funny. Um, every time I wear it, people are like, oh, you're wearing red bottoms. But if you look right here, this is a, it's a LeBron James symbol. They're not red bottoms. These are LeBron James shoes. Um, sometimes Nike make um, lifestyle shoes for um, athletes. So I seen this in Foot Locker. And at the time, I needed a dress shoe. So I was like, eh, why not? I bought it, took the flex points. And um, yeah, I wear these when I need to dress up. So... Shout out to LeBron. These are LeBrons. And then underneath are more of my LeBrons. So these are the LeBron. I think these are the eights. I got these from Foam City back when they were at Security Mall. My guy Tyree helped me that day. So shout out to him. Um, I'm a Miami Heat fan, so I do like to get like black and red shoes. It was a time to be alive when LeBron played for the Heat. These are another LeBron I got. I actually bought these to play basketball in, but I never actually play basketball in it because I don't want to like mess them up so yeah and then my last LeBron my LeBron 9 taxis um man these shoes are beautiful like LeBron 9s was one of like his top three silhouettes um but yeah just like I said my high school colors was black and yellow so I do I do tend to get a lot of black and yellow shoes and then right here i just have like miscellaneous like i already talked about the turbo greens i got the shadow ones can't go wrong with these you can wear this with anything honestly i probably wouldn't wear this with like what i'm wearing but you can wear this with a lot of stuff um, got a pair of converses um i got these from jc pennies i don't know why i was at jc pennies i don't know what i was looking for i think i was looking for khakis and i just seen these they were like 20 bucks so I just bought it. This, yeah, I don't know. Got a pair of Asics. These are, this part is like 3M. So if there was like flash, you can tell there's 3M, but very lightweight shoe. Asic gel like threes. These, I think they were 20 bucks. So I was just like, all right, shoot 20 bucks, I'll buy it. Very lightweight, very comfortable. Only pair of sock. Actually, I have more sock knees, but it's just like, if I know I'm not gonna wear a shoe like, like soon i don't keep them in these cases or out i just leave them in the box um and then i love to play basketball and i'm a big rajon rondo fan so 
I got these back when he played with the Celtics. I wear these outdoor all the time, so the grip is pretty much gone. But these were my Nike Hopper Fuse Lows. And then these are the, the Manny Pacquiao um, trainers. It says pack right here. On this one it says man. So Manny Pacquiao shoes. Yo, Manny and um, Floyd, they should have fought back when each other were in their prime, but they didn't. But at least they fought, right? All right, so there's one more shoe I wanna show. Um, it's actually right here. Well, it's actually two shoes, because it's a set. So, I don't know if you guys know what this is by the box, but you should. So this is a Jordan DMP pack. It's the six and 11. As you can see, we got uh, Jordan wearing 11s right here, I think. I can't really tell what shoes he's wearing right here. But this is brand new. Um, it, honestly, I, I, it's just been sitting here, so I definitely need to sell this. But here's the problem. So these are brand new, but this back tab broke. Don't know how that happened. And then it cracked right here and it started to green up. So yeah, I don't know if I can move it, but you know, these are the um, DMP sixes before they re retro. And then here are the, the 11s. Now this is the 11s when they had um, the gold jump man. So this is really what I like about it. Man, I gotta take it out this box because this is this is getting smushed up. But they got the dog tags. And yeah, this is this pack meant a lot to me. I've actually owned this shoe. I bought a pre-owned one. It was just by itself, no box. And I sold it. I kind of was forced to sell it because like my friend seen me wearing it. He was just pressing me to buy it every day. So I just caved in and sold it to him. But this is a brand new set. I don't know how I can sell it because the sixes are flawed. Um, like the Jumpman is like green. So obviously I have to sell it at a discounted price, but I did pay a lot for it. So guys, this is my sneaker collection. I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, I wanna drop like a sneaker collection video once a week. So comment down below who you guys wanna see me film their collection. And I'll definitely try to reach out to people to see if I can, you know, do a collab with them and fill them collection. I wanna thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. So by that, comment down what your favorite shoe in my collection was and why with your cash app tag and I'll send one of you guys 20 bucks. Um, you don't need to put like a sob story why you want to win. Just comment down your favorite shoe and why why it's your favorite shoe. And then I'll send one of you guys 20 bucks. Probably I'll pick a winner probably like December 1st. So whatever video I drop December 1st or 2nd, that should give you guys two weeks enough time to watch this and pick a shoe. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you want to win the 20 bucks. And follow me on Instagram at Sneakerhand.